chefs and foodies. It's Connie Big Balls Bumbaloni, your favorite cook in the kitchen from North Jersey. Today we got something real special for you. We are talking about Sunday supper. Something real tasty. Now if you're not Italian, you might have like heard a little bit about this somewhere, maybe from one of your Italian friends. And if you're an Italian and you've never been to a Sunday supper, I question your family. You get your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, your neighbors, every single Sunday. Your second cousin, your third cousin, your fourth cousin once removed, and it would start first thing in the morning. You go to the Canadian Club and the coffee, and the party is starting. You got the meat, you got the sauce, and I call it sauce. Yeah, I know some families like to call it gravy. I don't know where they're from. You're in the supermarket, a can of tomato sauce. It says sauce. Does it say tomato gravy? No, it does not. I rest my case. Thank you very much. Back in the day, all of the ladies would get together and they would can and jar their own tomatoes. I don't really have time for that kind of thing. Tutto rosso. If you're gonna use a can, make sure it's good. Anyway, the main event is the meatball. Meatball, definitely a staple of the Sunday supper. If you're in an Italian family, you don't have a recipe. You just know it. You just eyeball it. It's in all of the olive oil that's going through your skin. You understand. Meatballs. Before we have to start, we're missing the main ingredient, which is a little bit of ground beef. Huh? I live in a neighborhood where my local butcher still makes deliveries. Lucky me, an old classy broad. Meat delivery. I'll be right back. Oh my God, look who it is, Joey Lascivio. Meat delivery. Oh, the two words that I love to hear on a Saturday morning. Here How you are go, you? Mrs. Bumbaloni. I got your ground beef right here. Please call me Connie. Connie. You know, we're not, we're not formal here. We're a little more loosey goosey. <laughs> So what do you got for me today? Well, I got that 80% lean that oh, you like. Perfect. You know, my mother used to give your father a really, really hard time because he would sometimes send a little extra, which I thought he was just trying to be nice, but she'd say, oh, that dirty stink. I'm not paying for an ounce extra. I'm not going to split hairs with you here, but we all knew that your mother was a tough cookie in the neighborhood, huh? She gave everybody a hard time. Uh, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, huh? <laughs> <laughs> This is a very special guest we have because he comes from Lascivio and Sons Meat Market, famous in North Jersey. Mm-hmm. Look at you. Oh my goodness. It's been a while. I'm just it going has on. been a while. And now you're getting ready to maybe take over the family business at some point. Uh, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Okay. You know, my father's still doing well. Just homesick for the day, but I'll be right. back. Hey, it's kind of a treat having Joey Lascivio deliver my meat, <laughs> huh? Are you still dating that sweet thing around the neighborhood? What's her name? Teresa? Eh, I don't know. We're off and on. That yeah, fighting, I don't know. It's like cats and dogs with us, you know? Whoa, 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 whoa. That sounds like a movie or a play or something. She ain't a church-going woman. Oh, well. Second thing, she don't cook. She's Italian? What, did it miss a gene or something? She can't even fry an egg. I'm talking peanut butter and jelly sandwiches tonight. That mother, God rest her soul, will be turning a grave for this. True. What does she do if she doesn't go to church and she doesn't cook? Oh. I don't feel oh, comfortable oh, saying oh, that, you know? Oh, 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 oh. A classy I lady see. like yourself, I you see. know? Uh huh. She's real loosey goosey, huh? <laughs> Getting a little hot in here. Is it hot in here? You want me to call that? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing, Joey. Those girls are nice to date, but you don't marry them. Right? I ain't no spring chicken. I gotta find a nice lady, a woman that's gonna make me my Sunday supper. Come to my Sunday supper anytime. Ah, uh, you're too good. <laughs> you a couple minutes. You wanna stick around? It would be my pleasure. Clothes? Oh my God, I'm so excited. My husband, that good for nothing. You would never find him setting foot in the kitchen. <laughs> right here, we got a real man. All right, we are gonna start off by making some meatballs. Ready to go. Oh, meatballs, my yes. favorite. Do you have a favorite way that you like to do it? Because I usually like to keep it pretty simple. I mean, my mother taught me how to make the meatballs, and I gotta say, she was a simple woman too in that way. Yeah, so there we got about two pounds of nice lean meat, some Italian breadcrumbs, put a little bit of cheese in there. Am I right? Onions and garlic. Oh, it smells so there good. There is nothing better. Breakfast egg. I don't know, Joey. Do you mind doing the honors? Yeah, yeah. my pleasure. Good. And mixed. Real good. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really nice, the way you're doing that. Oh, yes. Yeah. How big do you like your ball? I like them not too big. I'm gonna like a little bit loose. If you make them too hard, then the sauce can't get in there. You like that ball? That's a good ball. Oh, that's nice. All right. It's nice. It's nice and loose. Well, my mother taught me everything I know about cooking. I gotta tell you. Did she? She did. So you're like a mama's boy? Kidding me? Of course. Yeah. yeah. Things aren't going so hard with you and Teresa. I don't want her to make. I don't want to make her jealous or anything like that. <laughs> oh, Teresa, don't even worry about her. She's yesterday's news. You know what I mean? No two balls are the same, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I love you are it. bad. We're gonna put these balls in the oven. We'll be right back. In 
the spirit of also talking about community, I'm just curious about some of the other broads in the neighborhood because I don't have time. I don't have time to can my own tomatoes. I just don't. Beyond that, everything is homemade. The pasta. I make your own pasta. Yeah, sometimes. I mean, maybe once a month. There's nothing like it. What a woman. Yeah. I'm just wondering what you've seen in their kitchen. Connie, I'm not a guy who likes to talk out of both sides of my mouth, eh? Yeah. Last time I was over at the Balducci's, I saw Mrs. Balducci peeling the labels off the jars before throwing them in the trash. Oh my god! I can't say I saw something for sure, but thinking it's ragu or prey, oh. oh, I don't know. We <laughs> try to push off jarred sauce. Yeah. Oh, man. Who is she serving? Yeah. She walks around with her nose in the air like she's the best cook on the block. You know, Jeanette's my good friend, but she's lying on my freaking face. You didn't hear from me, huh? All right, Joe, we bring those balls over here. Oh my goodness, oh, these smell amazing. My God, these look gorgeous. We try the balls I here. Love it. Cheers. Sometimes it tastes different when somebody's feeding it. By all means. Is that too big, too small? Can no, just one? right. All right, good. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Delicious. That too big? Oh. <laughs> nah, there's a little lady in the tramp scenario. Oh. I'm gonna break off a little bit. Pulling a tramp. <laughs> That's a little big for me. I'm All right, I'll break it off. I'll break All it off. Alright. Right. Mm. Oh my god. All oh, those balls are good. My husband's gonna ask me, he's like, why do those balls taste different? You've been screwing around? Oh, you got me in trouble. Huh? I'm not gonna get you alone. in trouble. No, 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 no. I thought you were making a meat delivery, but really, it was a whole song and dance. A whole song and dance. <laughs> oh, Joey, I had such a good time with you today. I'm in here in the kitchen with you like this, cooking up the meatballs. No, it, it makes me think of my... My poor dear departed mother. You must have been so long since we've had a Sunday supper, you know? Joey, I'm not that much older than you. Huh? Are you freaking kidding me right now? And just because it's your dead mother, I'm not gonna sit here and pat you on the back. You just killed my boner, Joey, honestly. I'm busy, I got shit to do. It's Sunday supper, I got a million people coming over. Mom, Mom. Nice you. Oh my God. Thank you. Next time. Goodbye. His freaking dead mother, and I'm supposed to feel bad. She was a nasty bitch. I made her so rest in peace. She had a mole on her chin. I always wondered why she didn't have it freaking removed. I'm not that old. Screw you, Lissabia. She's not a good cook, okay? It's because I got married early and had kids and whatnot. Oh, that's so good. Oh, Joey, your balls are good, though. Your balls are good. Oh, my God. Bye.